as I just reported on CNBC.com, uh, you know, as we know, on Wednesday, Goldman Sachs and Green Sky announced an acquisition by Goldman Sachs of Green Sky, a fintech player in the buy now, pay later world. And so uh, and you see this, unfortunately, sometimes with acquisitions that involve public companies. Uh, but there was some unusual uh, activity in the options market in calls that were purchased in the week or, or two weeks ahead of the acquisition. So, uh, you know, this is a thinly traded market. You know, uh, volumes are typically less than 1,000 calls, uh, but they surge to about 12,000 in the days ahead. And specifically, in the day before the acquisition was announced, there was a trader who, who bought 8,000 calls uh, for Green Sky that would only pay off in the scenario that Green Sky would surge, you know, 30 or 40 percent or 50 percent beyond the $10 strike price. So, you know, these these options, these calls were specifically worth perhaps five cents when, when the trader bought it. The very next day, they were worth 3,900 percent more. Huh. So an, an astounding gain in, uh, in overnight, essentially. And what uh, options experts tell me is, you know, blatant, blatant, um, you know, insider trading. Uh, I'd like to go to one options expert, John Ajarian. I'm curious as to what your reaction is. You, you often, you know, when you do unusual activity, John, um, you always say, hey, maybe this was just good fortune, or maybe I think the, the, the way you say it is somebody had tomorrow's newspaper today. Yeah, that's exactly right. And hats off to Hugh for this great investigative journalism and Bob Pisani. Um, yeah, Scott, the... The likelihood that there's a coincidence here that somebody bought 8,000 calls for a nickel uh, that ended up going, uh, so that $40,000 investment became worth nearly $2 million, um, that coincidence just doesn't smell right. I suspect that just like Hugh has been writing, that a lot of people will be looking into this to see because into Labor Day, Scott, it was trading about 153 contracts a day. Um, we say, uh, our blog, we put it up last week for unusual activity on the 9th of September. And sure enough, uh, there were several days that looked pretty <clears throat> darn suspicious where it traded into the thousands and even tens of thousands of shares just ahead of this announced deal with Goldman. So it certainly seems like somebody may have had tomorrow's newspaper today. Scott. Hugh, Hugh, I'll give you the last word. What, is the SEC saying anything? Any, any regulatory uh, arm looking into this? We reached out, you know, Gary Gensler has gone on, on our show and said that, you know, the, the SEC is strapped and, and sort of understaffed. So uh, I anticipate that they're going to look at this and that hopefully they would consider this low-hanging fruit for them to pursue.